All right, boys, it's my turn to play. I'm super focused for today since we will be taking on the Saffron City Gym. Sounds good, Joe. How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling confident to say the least. I think we have an amazing team, so I'm not worried at all. It's good that you're feeling confident about it. Do you have a specific approach for this gym? Not really. I'm just going to train up or party all around. I probably won't focus on that until it's time to face the gym leader. That's fair. After all, these are only trainers. Wait, is this gym one of those stupid teleporting puzzles? Do you know your way around this, Joe? Please tell me you do. If I was able to guide us through the rock tunnel without Flash, do you honestly think that I wouldn't know how to guide us through this gym? Facts! You're right, Joe. That's my bad. I just hate those kind of puzzles. Yeah, I understand that. But it's not a big deal since you're goaded at this game. By the way, guys, do you remember when Slowpoke used to be an annoying Pokemon for us to deal with? Yeah, that was before we even had Jolteon on our team. And thank God that we do. One Thunderbolt demolished this Slowpoke. And once again, we will see one Thunderbolt demolish another Slowpoke. The way we're demolishing these Slowpokes gives me the vibe of Team Rocket cutting off the tails of the Slowpoke for profit. Except we're just defeating them in battle. Facts. Team Rocket was once again being low-life peasants who had nothing better to do with their lives. Well, let's not talk about the Rocket grunts. What do you guys think? Will this Thunderbolt be a one-hit KO on this Slowbro? 100% Joe. Our Zenitsu is just goaded. Yeah, I think it'll be a one-hit KO as well. Let's put that to the test then. And just like Dang. that, Slowbro is down and out for the count. Yeah, Slowbro doesn't have an amazing special defense stat, so I can't say that I'm surprised. Okay, that was a nice and easy battle. On to the next. I'm going to put Snorlax to the front of the party since it's not level 40 yet. Good idea. Shadow Ball should be a one-hit KO to everything in this gym, I feel like. Sounds about right. By the way, Joe, how far do you plan on progressing today? Will it just be the gym? It will probably be this gym, and then I'm going to head towards Cinnabar Island since there are some trainers over there. Sounds like a plan, Joe. Let's see what this trainer has, though. Yeah, the one thing I love about these trainers is how much experience their Pokemon give. For real. Snorlax should reach level 40 relatively quick. And a Mr. Mime should definitely give good experience. This should be a one-shot. The only thing that would be annoying is Wait, if what? they confused us. But I'm more so confused as to why Mr. Mime has Magical Leaf. Yeah, I have no clue why this Mr. Mime had Magical Leaf, but he can think about his life choices in the grave. Damn Barack who said anything about a grave. I thought these Pokemon were just fainting. Yeah, I didn't think we were taking it that far. What did Mr. Mime do to us? He was able to deal a little damage to us. He deserved every bit of that Shadow Ball. Yeah, I don't know about all this, but while you two go over that, I'm going to go ahead and one-shot this Kadabra what with the a Shadow Ball. What is up with these trainers using Recover during its first turn? The same exact thing happened last time we played. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Are these trainers with Kadabras not programmed to deal damage or something? Even I have no clue what that's about, if I'm being honest. Regardless, we got good experience, so let's head to the next trainer. Didn't you say something about these gyms having mixed typings or something? Oh, yeah, I did. There are some trainers in this Psychic-type gym with Poison-type Pokemon. Wait, what? And it was the opposite in the Fuchsia gym, with there being Psychic-type Pokemon in that Poison-themed gym. Kind of seems like an identity crisis, if you ask me. Ain't that the truth. And once again, it's another Kadabra. Let's see if it actually attacks this time. 20 bucks, it doesn't. 20 bucks, it does. Damn! Guess you owe me 20 bucks, then, huh? Only if you choose to spend that money on McDonald's. What the hell? All right, fine. I'll have two McChickens, a McDouble, a large French fry, an Oreo McFlurry, and let me have two apple pies. Damn, Barack, you're like me now with all that food, huh? Okay, with all due respect, can the both of you guys shut the hell up? I thought I was at home playing Pokemon, not being at a damn McDonald's drive through Oh, come on, Joe, I was just joking about the whole thing. I wouldn't order that much anyways. Wait, are you serious, Barack? You wouldn't order that much? Why would I need that much food, Donald? I can't eat that much. Okay, stop talking about McDonald's. Let's talk about how Snorlax hit level 40. I mean, that's nice and all, but you're running through this gym with Shadow Ball Joe. Maybe switch it up a bit once in a while. Watch this, though. Reflect will prevent this from being a one-hit KO. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Joe. You were saying Barack? Okay, that took me by surprise. I'm not going to lie. It's not like anyone's eliminating our Snorlax, though. He's way too good of a tank to be having any challenges to Pokemon like Mr. Mime. I mean, why do you think I picked him Donald? Oh, boy. All right, I told you guys already that I don't care for Snorlax being chosen over Execute at this point. Just making sure. Can't have us getting into it now, right? You're not wrong, Joe. And for once, you're going to give us a challenge, huh? Yeah, our Lapras is probably going to have some trouble, but I'm all for the experience. That's exactly why I sent it out. I'm hoping one body slam will do the trick. It definitely should. Kadabra has trash defensive stats. This is barbecue chicken for Lapras. Kind of like how Roadhog is barbecue chicken for Reaper. Exactly. Well, there you have it. Wait, Wait what, what in the world? How is this Kadabra still alive? Am I missing something? Am I forgetting something? Oh, how did I forget? Didn't Mr. Mime put up a reflect from earlier? Jesus Christ, how did I forget that? Did you take your medications, Joe? Shut the hell up, Barack. You forgot about that reflect as well. Not to mention, 
You guys were probably distracting me since you were talking about McDonald's. Okay, you're right. I'm just playing. I forgot about that reflect, too. Wait, it looks like that trainer from the Pokemon Tower. Is it time for the poison and ghost types, Joe? Well, that was a great observation because you are right about us facing ghosts and poison types now. I forgot how weird their facial expressions are. It's like Joe when he sees a lass. Ha <laughs> ha nice one, Donald. That's more like when Barack sees primate. Okay, I'm not of even going to respond to that confuse instead. Ray. Let's focus on how annoying this ghastly is by spamming Confuse Ray. Come on, Joe, ignore the confusion and land your shadow ball. I guess we'll see about that. And of course, we can't land a hit when we're confused. Nothing new here. Honestly, I'm just going to switch out into our Lapras. Good idea. I'm not going to entertain this battle any longer. Lapras knows Psychic too, right? It should be a one-hit KO on these Ghastlies. That's exactly why I'm switching out to Lapras. And it could use more experience as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on now, Joe. Be careful of Destiny Bond. I got you, Donald. Instead of using Psychic, I'll use Ice Beam. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Joe. Don't you think that might kill the Ghastly? Well, I guess we'll find out right here then, huh? Come on, Lapras, don't kill it, damn it. God damn it, Joe, I knew you should have used something else. Well, there goes our Lapras, so much for it getting experience from this battle. It's fine, I'll heal it up after this battle or something. In the meantime, I'll just train up our Snorlax and demolish these Pokemon with Shadow Ball. That should do the trick, I guess. What are they even going to send out, though? Well, I guess they're going to send out another Ghastly. Here we go One again. One Shadow Ball should do the trick. Joe, just be careful. This Ghastly might use Destiny Bond, too. It's fine. Let Papa Joe cook. Jesus Christ, Joe, this is not cooking. You are literally throwing right now. Yeah, I have to agree with Donald here, Joe. You've been cooking every single time you play for the most part, but I can't defend this. There's no way this pathetic trainer eliminates us, right? Joe, it's not about that. You need to be more aware moving forward with regards to our opponents using Destiny Bond. That definitely could have been avoided. I hear you, Donald. I will switch out to the speedy Zenitsu in order to prevent that BS Destiny Bond from taking down our Pokemon. It's the last Pokemon anyway, so it won't make a difference. If anything, at least our Jolteon will reach level 41 after this battle. Yeah, I guess that's always a nice thing. Let's see if this Shadow Ball is a one-hit KO. And it is. I was a bit surprised, to be honest, since Shadow Ball is a physical move in this game. Nevertheless, it's on to the next trainer. Wait, aren't you going to heal up Lapras and Snorlax before you proceed to the next trainer? It's fine, Barak. I'll train up our Need Oaking in the meantime, since it's our lowest leveled Pokemon. I'll heal up our Lapras and Snorlax before our battle with the gym leader. I love hearing it when someone says they'll train up Need Oaking. Let King Donald cook. The only reason why Need Oaking is slightly under leveled compared to the rest of our team is because you didn't send him out at all during the Sylph Co. Donald. That's facts. I still don't get it. I already told you this, Barack. You wanted the battles to go as quick as possible, so I sent out whoever I felt was capable of getting those battles done the quickest. Regardless. The past is in the past now, and I'm training up Nidoking now, realistically speaking. King Donald should reach level 40 before I reach Cinnabar Island. Yeah, that sounds good. And I guess Thunderbolt will be a two-hit KO, not bad. Just watch out for a potential Destiny Bond. Well, that's not happening now since it decided to use Shadow Punch. It's time to get some juicy experience. And just like that, we're on to the next trainer. How many are there in this gym? I believe there are six trainers in total. That being said, we only have a couple more left, so don't worry. Oh, no, I'm not worrying. I wish we had more of these trainers. They're giving us great experience. Ain't that the truth? Well, all right then, let me just navigate ourselves to the next trainer real quick and we can get more of that good experience. Sounds good. I wonder if King Donald can reach level 40 by the end of this gym, to be honest. I'm not sure the trainer will have enough Pokemon for Nidoking to level up. And I don't plan on sending out Nidoking against the gym leader since it gets countered by all her Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair, and this person only has two Pokemon, so I guess it's not going to happen until later on. By the way, guys, I have a question to ask. What's up, Joe? I'm pretty sure we can go to the Seafoam Island after this gym battle so we can encounter Articuno. Wait, what? Already? Okay, but what's your question, Joe? My point is, we can encounter and catch Articuno after this, or do you guys just want to wait for another time to do that? I say let's just wait for another time. I think we should catch the legendary birds after we finish the Elite Four the first time around. It's not like we're adding any of them to the team. Facts! Besides, we'd have to buy Ultra Balls and I don't think we should spend our money on that. Facts! So I'm kind of with Donald on this one. We should pursue them after we complete the Elite Four the first time around. Facts! All right, sounds good. I just wanted to see what approach you guys wanted to take, but I'm cool with that too. All right, now that we have that out of the way, is it time for the gym leader, Joe? I think we have one more trainer left. After that, we'll be able to battle the gym leader. Sounds good. Remember to heal up after this next trainer battle. Yeah, I got you. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, but where in the world is this trainer? Right here, Barack. Don't worry, I didn't get lost. I don't know how you remember this, but I got to give you credit for it. It still amazes me. That and also the rock tunnel. Even after all this time, I still don't know how you guided us without Flash. 
Yeah, I put in a lot of hours into this game. I'm thinking Thunderbolt will be a two-hit KO here. Damn, that's a pretty high-leveled slow bro. I wonder if this will be enough to level up Nido King. I think we'll get pretty close. One more Thunderbolt will do the trick. It will be some juicy experience, that's for sure. Whoa, 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 Damn, hold it was on a one now. Shot. Thunderbolt absolutely obliterated this slow bro. I'm pretty sure it was because it was a critical hit, but hey, I'll take it. No complaints here. And our Nido King almost got to level 40. It's time to heal up, right, Joe? You would be correct. Let me just verify this path real quick, and then I'll make a quick trip back to the Pokemon Center. Sounds good. We'll be waiting, Joe. All right, boys, it's time to face the gym leader. How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling confident in our team. It looks amazing, so I don't think Sabrina will be much of a challenge, if I'm being honest. We have to stay humble, though. No celebrating until we get the gym badge, am I right, boys? You're not wrong, Barack. I will make quick work of this Kadabra with one body slam attack. I don't know if it will finish it off in one turn, Joe. It's level 38. It does have a garbage defense stat, though. I guess we'll see. I'm confident in our Lapras, boys. Let's do this. The moment of truth. Facts. Well, I guess it wasn't a one-shot, but at least we were able to paralyze it. And of course, it has to be annoying with Synchronize, so now we're paralyzed, too. And of course, Sabrina has to use a Hyper Potion. Why don't you just use a Paralysis Heal, Joe? It's fine, Donald. I trust in our Lapras to overcome this annoying paralysis. Besides, Lapras won't be in the battle much longer Let's anyways. go. Kadabra got Parahaxed. And I guess we got Parahaxed, too. It's fine either way. One more body slam will finish the job. Man, this Kadabra really got cheesed with the Parahax. Sucks to suck, huh? Facts! And just like that, Kadabra is down. I'm going to switch into our Snorlax since I'm not trying to deal with this paralysis any longer. I mean, you could always use a paralysis heal, right? I don't want to also deal with Sabrina's BS. We're going to make quick work of her Pokemon with Snorlax. Yeah, I'm expecting Shadow Ball to be a one-hit KO. Yeah, even if it uses Calm Mind, it doesn't limit the damage from Shadow Ball since, once again, it is a physical move. GG too easy. This Snorlax of ours is just insane. It can't die to anything unless you're battling a fighting type and it has or powerful by a moves destiny along bond. with leftovers. This is insane. Okay, I get that I played iffy there with the whole Destiny Bond situation, but I learned from it, Donald. I know, Joe. I'm just playing. All right, I got you. I'm going to switch into Charizard and have it one hit KO this Venomoth with a flamethrower. Man, Sabrina is really a weak gym leader, huh? I think it's more so of us having a goaded team, Barack. Our entire team construction covers every single typing that I can think of. And just like that, we're on Sabrina's last Pokemon. You guys ready for it? I think I remember what her ace is. It's an Alakazam, right? Well, there you have it. You were right, Barack. I'm thinking Shadow Ball will once again be a one-hit KO. Didn't you say it was a level 43 ace, though? I guarantee that it won't matter, Donald. Facts. Alakazam's defense stat is hot garbage. You're probably right about it being a one-hit KO, but let's see it. In due time, you will. Even with a calm mind, it won't matter. Maybe in the future generations, it would have. That's literally all facts, Joe. Let's see this destruction. I will still be surprised if it's a one-hit KO. I guess you will remain surprised Damn. then, Donald. Just like that. We got our sixth gym badge, boys. How are we feeling? I'm feeling great, Joe. You demolished Sabrina and her gym. Our team is looking even more goaded than it was before we started playing today. The crazy thing is, our team is only going to get better. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. I still get tripped out from the fact that Shadow Ball demolished the Alakazam like that, but that's only because I'm not used to it being a physical move. Regardless, I'm feeling super confident moving forward. Well, it's good that we're all on the same page. Definitely. Are you done for the day, Joe, or were you still planning on heading to Cinnabar Island? I'm still going to head to Cinnabar Island. There are a decent amount of trainers on the way down there, so I figured I'd knock those out. And then you can take care of business on the island itself when it's your turn to play Barack. Yeah, that sounds good to me. You cool with that, Donald? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't mind the trainers. As long as they don't have annoying Pokemon, I'll be fine. Sounds good. I'll be prioritizing our Lapras since it still has to catch up in the levels with Psychic and Body Slam. I'm sure it won't be slow with finishing the trainers off. That's not a bad approach, Joe, but don't feel obligated to do that if it becomes inconvenient. Yeah, don't worry. I'll switch out if I have to. By the way, Joe, how do you even get to Cinnabar Island? I completely forgot. Well, how about we take a trip down memory lane? I'm going to fly to Pallet Town, and then we're just going to surf straight down. Oh, damn Pallet Town, huh? Now that is a throwback, boys. Ain't that the truth? That's where our Pokemon journey started. We've grown so much since then. And people thought we couldn't coexist playing this game together. For real. Boy, did we prove them wrong. Facts! I completely forget that there was even a body of water in Pallet Town. Do you know how many trainers we have till Cinnabar Island, Joe? Honestly, I forget the exact number, but I do know that it's not too ridiculous. Okay, that's good. It was good. never excessive in my opinion, so I'm sure this shouldn't take too long if that's what you're worried about. No, I'm fine. But are you just going to avoid those fishermen? At first I was, but I feel a little guilty doing that on purpose. I just get the feeling that they're going to have a bunch of Magikarp or something. We can worry about them later. Let's see how this double battle goes. Okay, Asidra and Astarmi, 
those should give some solid experience. Yeah, I'm definitely switching off of Charizard. I didn't pay attention to the ordering of our party. It's fine. Who will you switch out to? I wanted to switch to Nidoking so we could get him to level 40, but I'm not taking any chances this early, so Jolteon it is. No need to feel rushed with regards to training Nidoking. If memory serves correctly, it's pretty close to getting level 40 anyway, so we'll be fine. And of course, the first battle we encounter on this route, they spam smokescreen. Nothing new here. It's all good. Body Slam should be a two-hit KO on Cedra. Okay, what Damn the it. hell? It won't even be a two-hit KO, and of course, Lapras got poisoned. Well, isn't this inconvenient? I completely forgot about Cedra's poison point. I don't know what's going on with me today, boys. That's my bad for forgetting. You're all good, Joe. I forgot about that, too. Yeah, don't worry about that. Just use an antidote, and Lapras will be ready to do goaded things once this battle finishes up. I appreciate that, boys. And I always love seeing a Starmie faint like that after the nonsense it caused us at the Cerulean City Gym. Amen to that. I swear, I got PTSD from that battle. It's crazy to think that those were the kind of challenges we had then. We just don't have those challenges now since our team is goaded. And I'm thinking Nido King will reach level 40 after this Cedra goes down. That's a good point, Donald. Nido King was super close to leveling, so it will probably level up here. I guess we'll see right here, huh? Damn, everyone's getting experience. And there it is, with this. Everyone except for Lapras is level 40 or higher on our team. Now it's time to focus on Lapras so we can get it to level 40 as soon as possible. That's super exciting. It's nice to have everyone in the same ballpark with the levels. On to the fishermen, right, Joe? Unfortunately, yes. I just hope that they don't have six Magikarp or something. While that might be a possibility, Joe, it's unlikely. We're all good. Yeah, I'm with Barack on this one. This fisherman will probably have something good, I'm sure of it. I guess we'll see right here. Okay, fuck. okay, okay, okay. What in the what actual, in the actual fuck? fuck is this? Are you being serious right now? Don't tell me this bum-ass fisherman has six fucking Magikarp. I fucking knew it. I sensed trash from when I swam past them. I knew I shouldn't face this trash-ass bitch. Okay, but does he have six Magikarp, though? Does that fucking answer your question, Barack? Joe's fears came to reality. This son of a bitch has six Magikarp. I can't believe this. Is Lapras even going to get a level from this battle? I swear to God, if it doesn't, I will end this man's career. I can't even say for sure whether or not it will get a level. This is actually some bullshit. Fisherman Wade can go fuck himself. Facts. Fisherman Wade is a loser. Facts. Fisherman Wade is a bum. Facts. Fisherman Wade is a failure in life. Facts. Fisherman Wade has nothing to live for. Facts. Fuck this guy. Big fucking facts. Damn, Donald, you went off on Fisherman Wade. Oh my fucking God, I just realized something. What happened, Donald? This bum ass could have had six fully evolved Gyarados. Jesus fucking Christ, how fuck? did I just catch that? He's not evolving them. He could have given us so much fucking experience. <laughs> Instead, we're sitting here even wondering if Lapras is going to level from this dog shit. Well, I guess we'll find out right here. Holy oh fucking God. shit. I didn't think that we would ever level up after the little experience we were getting this whole time. I guess something good came from this battle. This bitch better give us more money than the typical amount. He better give us his retirement funds, his 401k, his investments, everything. Including his wife. Okay, you're giving this guy too much credit. There is no way his pathetic ass has a 401k. There is no way his pathetic ass has investments. And most of all, there is no way his bum ass has a wife. You literally roasted the shit out of him, Donald plus more. It's what I do, King Donald all the way, bitches. Fisherman Ronald, thank fucking God he doesn't have a magic harp. <laughs> this dude is a legend. Yeah, now this will be some great experience for Lapras. It will probably take a few turns to knock this thing out, though. I don't mind it. This seeking will give us more experience than those six fucking Magikarp did combined. Barack, are you doing okay? You've been tripping out. I think I'm fine. Huh? But would you look at that? Uh, the body slam is a critical hit, and we got a lot of experience from that. Seek it. Let's go. All right, Barack, let's take a step back real quick, okay? Okay. All right, inhale. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale. Okay, are you feeling any better? Shut the fuck up, Donald. How many times are you going to count so fucking fast? Actually, that helped Joe. What Thanks for fuck? that, Donald. No problem, Barack, and go fuck yourself, Joe. All right, as long as Barack's not tripping, I'm cool with it. Time for some more juicy experience from this seeking, though. You ain't wrong about that. Lapras is almost halfway to level 35. Just a few more levels and it will be right there with the rest of our team. And one more Body Slam will do the trick. Yeah, I don't know why Body Slam is doing way more to this Seeking than the other Seeking when they're both level 28 males. I can't complain about that. And of course this dude has another Seeking. That's more juicy experience. I mean, of course this dude is goaded. His name is Ronald and that rhymes with Donald. And as soon as you say this dude is goaded, he uses Supersonic. Okay, fuck this guy, he's not goaded. Okay, let me check for something real quick. Wait, what are you checking for, Joe? Just try finishing off the seeking. Yeah, Joe, what are you doing? I thought we had a yellow flute or something. That way I don't have to just switch out because Lapras is confused, you know? I don't know if we have a yellow flute, Joe. 
I know what item you're talking about, but I didn't catch it through our inventory. Yeah, come on, Joe, it's fine. Just try finishing the seeking off. I'm sure you can do that without hurting yourself. All right, fine. Let's just try this then and see what happens. Please don't fucking hurt yourself, Neptune. Let's see. Thank fucking God for that. I wasn't trying to deal with this bullshit. Lapras is really pulling through for us, huh? Definitely, Joe, and Lapras is close to level 36. That battle gave us a lot of experience. More of those kind of trainers would be nice. Without the supersonic, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, of course. Fully evolved Pokemon that can't confuse us are the best kind of Pokemon for us to go up against. All right, let's see what this trainer has. Hopefully it's along the lines of what you just said, Donald. Well, it's not going to be six Magikarp, that's for sure. Ain't that the fucking truth? Okay, Asidra, huh? This time I remember the poison point that Cedra has, so I'll just settle with using Psychic. Good shit, Joe. Two Psychics should take care of this Cedra easy money. Well, I guess Damn. two Psychics are not fucking needed. Lapras is just cooking right now. And it also got to level 36 from that battle. I'm loving this momentum right now. Let's hope this keeps up. Well, this person has a Tentacruel fully evolved, and it's something Lapras can take care of with a few Psychics. I'm loving every minute of this. Just better hope we don't get poisoned, though. And thank God that we didn't. Honestly, Psychic won't do as much as you guys think it might. Tentacruel has a really, really good special defense stat. Well, it's still going to be a two-hit KO. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I thought that it would tank a little better than that, but I guess I forget how cracked the move Psychic is in this game. And that's only one of the many cracked moves our Lapras has. Yeah, for real. And good thing this is a two-hit KO. We'll be quickly moving on to the next trainer. This is going to give a fuck ton of experience. I can just feel it. 1449 experience. God fucking damn, give us more tentacruels. After all this time of us versing trainers who had weak ass Pokemon who were annoying while giving little experience, it's an amazing feeling to have the opposite of that. Keep preaching that shit, Joe. I wonder how many trainers we have left, though. Unfortunately, I don't think we have too many left. Damn it. Well, I guess we just got to get the most experience possible for Lapras, right? Hopefully it can get another level or something before this route finishes Oh God, up. not another fucking fisherman. Oh God, not two fucking fishermen. Don't tell me we're seeing more Magikarp. My fingers are crossed, Joe. I prayed to the Pokemon gods as well that they do not throw Magikarps at us. And your prayers have been answered, Barack. Hallelujah to that shit. Thank God for the seeking and its amazing and juicy experience. I will say one thing though. Lapras is Loki running out of body slam moves and psychic moves. It might be time to switch off of Lapras soon. It's not the end of the world if you have to do that, Joe. After all, you said we're nearing the end of these trainers, so it's not like Lapras will be missing out on too much, right? You're not entirely wrong, Barack. Besides, I think Lapras will have an amazing time at the Cinnabar Island gym, so there's always that. Okay, that's reassuring to hear. Lapras will probably be underleveled for that gym, but I'm sure it'll get a lot of levels throughout that gym, so it's all good. Sounds good. And this will be my final battle with Lapras since it has low HP and not many moves to spare. Do you have an idea as to who you're going to train up for the remainder of the time? Probably need Oaking since it knows Thunderbolt. I really need it to learn Megahorn ASAP since that will be a super good move to counter psychic types with. Damn, Joe, you basically used Lapras to the fullest potential without running back to the Pokemon Center. Good shit. Thanks, Donald. Even Goldeens give a good amount of experience, too. For real. Man, this route is just amazing. Why does this shit have to be short while they throw a million grunts at us who just have Zubats? Because they don't want us to become overleveled, I guess. It's time for King Donald to cook now, am I right? Hopefully Lapras isn't missing out on much. I just hope we can get more Seekings. That shit has been a blessing from the gods, I gotta tell you. Facts. By the way, Joe, are you not afraid of any potential water-type Pokemon knocking out Nidoking? I know it has Thunderbolt, but you should still be careful, okay? Uh, Joe? Joe, are you there? Did Joe fucking disconnect or some shit? Sorry, boys, I had a little connection issue. Oh, okay, you're good then. I get what you mean, but Nidoking will be perfectly fine. Thunderbolt should be a one-hit KO to every single water-type Pokemon there is. Just like how that Shelter got one shot as well. Okay, what is up with this route? A Cloister now? This game is being too generous with the opponents now. This should also be a one-hit KO, and once again, we will be getting some juicy experience. I love everything about King Donald getting good experience. Damn, it really was a one-hit KO. I was a bit surprised since Cloyster has a good defense stat. It actually has a putrid special defense stat, Barack. That's why it got torn a new one, and we got a lot of good experience from that. Let's just keep crossing our fingers so there's no end to this streak of amazing trainers. Yeah, for real. Well, unfortunately for us, I think there are only a couple of trainers left around this area, so let's make the most of these while they're still available. Don't we have the versus Seeker, by the way? If we desperately needed levels for someone, couldn't we just use that? Okay, hold on one second. Let Nido King get its fucking revenge for the constant torture Starmy put on our Nidorino. Let's do this, boys. Damn, it's crazy that you noticed that. And what is this Starmy gonna do now, huh? A weak-ass rapid spin move? Pathetic. 
Joe finish this useless bitch off. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Watch this Thunderbolt destroy this Starmie. The long-awaited revenge, guys. Nido King is so proud of himself, I know it. I'm so fucking proud of King Donald. I couldn't imagine what he had to go through. It defeated Starmie after so much torture, but it only was able to defeat it by spamming super potions while Starmie was poisoned. This time around, King Donald destroyed it by attacking instead of stalling. King Donald overcame his demons. We are still playing Pokemon, right? Donald, you made that shit sound like an anime. Yeah, for real. King Donald is goaded, that's why. He deserves all the fucking praise in this world. Don't you guys dare think otherwise. Oh, I'm not, don't worry. He's just continuing the demolishment of these water-type Pokemon. King Donald will also be getting another level, so that's always a good thing. Nido King is one step closer to learning Megahorn. Trust me when I say this. That move will come in handy big time. Of course I believe you, Joe. You know everything about this game. I have no reason to doubt you. And just like that, King Donald is officially level 41. By the way, Joe, when does it learn Megahorn? I'm pretty sure it's level 42 or 43. It might happen for when it's your turn to play Barack. Either way, make sure you guys keep an eye out for it. Oh, we will. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy Cedra getting destroyed in one hit by King Donald. Did you enjoy that, Donald? Fuck yeah! I'm liking the energy right now, boys. Our team is growing. The trainers are giving us good experience. The vibe feels good. I feel good with what's to come in our playthrough. Yeah, it definitely feels great. For once, we're not bitching about these trainers. Okay, but this has to be the last trainer, right? Joe said that there aren't many left. Well, I guess you got the fucking script once again, Donald. This is indeed the last trainer around this area, so once this is finished up, I'll just head a little bit more down, and Cinnabar Island will be right there. Well, damn boys, I must say, this felt like a super productive gaming session, to say the least. I don't know what it is, but this one feels different in a good way. I think it's because our team is finally unlocking its true potential. This whole time, we've been envisioning what our team would look like with what move sets. But now that it's happening, it's definitely a fun time. And the crazy part is Donald. We still have some moves to teach to our Pokemon. Megahorn for Nidoking. And we still have to delete Cut for Charizard. I was thinking about putting Blast Burn on it. Oh, Blast Burn would be an amazing addition to Charizard. I could see that coming in handy for the Elite Four for sure. It's like the cross chop for fire moves. Yeah, for real, but let's see where Cinnabar Island is, Joe. Well, I just landed on it. I wasn't kidding fuck? when I said it was right there. Well, damn okay, good shit, Joe. You got a lot accomplished. Are you done for the day, by the way? I'm definitely done for the day. I will leave the Pokemon Mansion and the Cinnabar Island gym for you, Barack. But like always, I had a lot of fun playing with you guys. Till next time, boys. Same here, Joe. I had a lot of fun playing. You trained our team up perfectly once again, and I'm just super glad that this team is getting even better as we move forward with the game. I feel the results of our hard work, boys. Until then, boys. Joe, you fucking cooked. Papa Joe cooked, period. There is nothing else to say that other than that we are one step closer to becoming Pokemon champs. Peace out, guys.